visible in the front view and the top view the only thing is that you will have to intersect intersect means overlap the front view and the top view and you will have the isometric view so this solution is isometric view that we have correct okay so let's move on to another problem now this is uh, another easy one that is given to you uh, example these kind of uh, solutions come uh, in your question paper now how to interpret it let's uh, repeat the method that we did in the previous question right so what we are doing is this uh, first we are checking the front view now what does front view tell us that front view tells us that this has a base which uh, has a particular height say this is the height of the base and it is a kind of a rectangular base why a rectangular base because this length is given to me and this is the width that is given to me so this length and this width would make a rectangle a rectangle of what a rectangle of this height say this height is x and this width which is 60 so the total uh, a rectangle my rectangle dimensions what are my rectangle di uh, sorry my cuboid dimensions my cuboid dimensions are uh, six. Uh, wait a sec. My cuboid dimensions are okay. Ten, ten, ten. So my cuboid dimensions become eighty, which is this whole length. This is uh, given to me as twenty. So this whole length is this is L. Length is given to me as L width is given to me as 60 and finally the height is given to me as 20 so my cuboid i'll note it down once again here base cuboid cuboid base would be of 80 cross 60 cross 20 that is my length my width and my height so I know that this is I will have to convert into apparent length and I will have it uh, this is visible just behind the video that is being uh, uh, displayed right besides the example the cuboid that I have wrote uh, the video will be removed soon now uh, the next thing that is there uh, is on the front view now I have to interpret it uh, interpret that this is uh, at this is vacant space and this is vacant space between that there is a column or you can say a kind of a, a column which is uh, getting out from here so this is another standing pillar and now the standing pillar is again uh, you can take the dimensions is the height is uh, given to me as standing column the dimensions are given to me as the length of the column uh, is 20 the width of the column is 60 and the height of the column is 50 now how did i get that see this is the length of the column this is the height of the column this is given to me as 50 right and what uh, this is given to me as 60 which is my width okay so i got the standing column as well now this beam now i have to take out dimensions of this beam now this beam is what this uh, is given to me this square is of 30 mm side so this is 30 this is 30 this is given to me as 40 and obviously this is 30 mm so again the square which will be developed uh, in this manner will again be 30 so 30 cross uh, the length is sorry the length is 40 30 and 30 this is for the uh, outcoming column right so now if i want to draw a solution uh, i'll draw kind of solution which is there here so let's see this right this is done now the next thing uh, this is what this is uh, 40 i'm sorry wait this is 60 this is 80 and the height is 20 okay now uh, i will have this uh, column 
so from here I have to extract a column now in that column so this is the column and then in from that the beam would come out in this way so let's see the solution in a more clear way as it, uh, I told this is the base that is being formed always remember the first step uh, that you have to do is you have to draw this this is the axis which is there for the isometric view this is 120 degrees and then you will have the whole thing this this is the base color uh, base uh, cuboid that was drawn this was a standing uh, column that was drawn, and this is the outcoming column which is drawn so without any doubt you will have any you will have your solution of this particular problem which is there yeah the one point that we did not interpret in the figure was this empty section this section is empty so this is being shown by this empty line and that was the main reason why this dotted line appeared first of all because this will be uh, uh, appear as a dotted line from this section so this is why the dotted line actually appeared from the section okay I hope you all uh, have a very good view of the isometric views as well so uh, these are the four problems that we will solve today and uh, for once we have uh, at least gone through the syllabus once and now we will be having another session uh, of in Jan, uh, January before right before your exams we will have a two hour session in which what we will do is we will solve more important problems which are there in uh, all the chapters we will have a two to three hour session in which we will do a whole revision in which we will not go through the theory we will take up one or two problems from all the chapters and we will solve those problems here and we will I will try to bring the practical applications as well that I have shown you on animation I will try to get those uh, and show you that how actually it is the glass box that we saw yesterday I will try to uh, get a glass box and, in, and uh, inscribe a job in that and then make you understand that how can you interpret it when it is on paper as well so my only thing uh, I will say till then uh, you keep practicing and you be with us and give us the feedbacks tell us that where are you facing problems where are you going to where do you need our help what questions have to be repeated or what topic have to be repeated please send us emails so if you send us emails accordingly we will be able to give you uh, what you want because over uh, after all the initiative is for you to get better uh, understanding of engineering graphics and other subjects as well so I urge you all to give us feedback that what do you think what content do you want to uh, uh, listen to again or if there is something that you did not understand please let us know we will try to implement some other way in trying to make you understand yes you can always go to your professors yes another thing is that along with the professors if you get help from here also you will get uh, you will have more clerical understanding of this so at uh, it, this is my email ID you can send it to me or you can send it to uh, GTU directly the link is given on the GTU's website if you go and see the Elfcom schedule in that all the essential email IDs are given to you the contact numbers are also given to you so if you need any help please contact us and I have included a very sh short uh, saying here every story has an end but in life every hand end is just a new beginning so don't think that it is the end of the semester or end of the syllabus yes next semester will begin a new syllabus will also begin so we will be together once again and i wish you and your family a very very happy new year and may god bless you have a good day